Hey, it's Michelle coming to you with some kitchen inspiration. I'm making chicken broccoli cheddar risotto. Super easy. I'm doing it in my, my old quick cooker, which is just like our deluxe multi-cooker. Um, but the new multi-cooker has more functions. All right, so this is a super easy recipe. I've got the six quart stainless pot that goes in the, in the multi-cooker. And I'm just gonna prep my ingredients and slap them in and walk away, I love this. So I've got a yellow pepper, you can use a red pepper, whichever you'd like, uh, whatever makes you happy. I always cut my pepper from the bottom that way. So like all my seeds are right here, I don't have a big mess. And I have a small-ish onion, small to medium-sized onion. And I'm going to peel that off. All right. And I have two cloves of garlic. And so what I'm going to do with all of this stuff, now that I've got it all out, I'm gonna grab my trusty 20 something year old food chopper. And uh, you know what, I need to, gotta make sure it fits under the food chopper. <laughs> so, I'm gonna chop everything up. You could also um, crush your garlic instead of chopping it. Actually, that one there is pretty big. up. Oh, that's probably too much. I just kind of want to bite size. It doesn't have to be super small. And you know, the more you hit this chopper, the smaller the food gets. So if I hit just a couple times, I get big pieces. If I hit it some more, I get chopped size. There's a very large pepper. That's okay, a little bit of veggie, extra veggies. Never hurt us. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is add a splash of olive oil to this stainless pot. Okay, and I'm gonna tell you a secret. This recipe says to saute the onions and the peppers and stuff. I never do that. It doesn't taste any different. If you just throw it in and work it, it really makes no difference. Okay, we got that in. Then I've got chicken. I've got some boneless chicken breasts here. Let me get a scissor. These were in my freezer, so they're shrink wrapped. So just open them up. more chicken than I realized. It's okay, I didn't know what I was going to do with it. So, it was, uh, right in here. all right, first thing I'm gonna do is trim off any of the white or red fatty parts because I do not like those in my food. I wind up making it chewy and that gets on my nerves. I don't like it chewy, oops. So we're just gonna take those parts out and reject them. That's a personal preference. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, but I always do that. And see this piece right here, it's a tendon, and I always take that out too. I think my palate is sensitive. I do not like any of that chewy stuff. All right, that piece looks good. So I'm gonna cut this. Bite-sized pieces. You want to get some of these Pampered Chef forged cutlery knives. Look how easy this goes through the chicken. Like, I'm not struggling at all. I'm literally just kind of pressing it through. There's no back and forth sewing motion. Chicken's getting away from me there. I'm just cutting it in bite-sized pieces. Once they're bite-sized, I'm going to drop them right in there with the peppers and onions and garlic. You want them however size you like to put in your mouth because this is a meal you're not going to eat with a, with a knife, you know. 
I'm just gonna have a fork or a spoon because it's risotto. It's funny because I like risotto, but I tried to make it one time on the stove top and it's 45 minutes of standing still and stirring and I don't have the patience to do that. I am a simple cook. I like to make really good food that does not require a lot of effort. So I did that one time and I immediately told my family that risotto from now on was a food they were only getting in restaurants. They were never going to have it in our house again, <laughs> which is very funny. And then a couple years later, they gave us the electric pressure cooker, you know, our multi cooker, or in this case, quick cooker. So you might have either one of those. If you don't have one yet, let me know because now's the time to get 60% off anything you want. Um, so fast forward, they gave us the multi cooker there's a recipe in it for risotto. So once I got comfortable using my quick cooker, I decided to try this risotto recipe. Now I make risotto all the time. It's so easy if you do it in the pressure cooker. So I'm gonna just drop all the ingredients in, and then I'm gonna pick the white rice setting, because you have whole grains and you have white rice. I'm gonna pick the white rice setting. It literally cooks for four minutes. So it takes about 10 minutes to heat up, but you know, I'm not doing anything to it. I just turn it on and walk away. So 10 minutes for the liquid in there to start boiling and creating steam, which can't get out, which is what causes the pressure. So 10 minutes for it to do that. And then once the pressure um, indicator pops up, it cooks for four more minutes and then my dinner is done. I mean, that is how easy it is to make risotto. So I make risotto as a side dish, in this case as a main dish. Frequently, it's super easy. It comes out perfect every time. I don't have to work that hard. Okay, so we've got my chicken in there. I gotta wash my hands and I'll put the rest of the ingredients in. All right. So like I said, chicken, chicken, peppers, onions. The next thing that's going in is a cup of aborio rice. Very important. If you want to make risotto, it has to be aborio rice, okay? Ooh, this one's brand new. You cannot use a different kind. So don't try substituting with regular rice. You're not going to have the same results. I'm going to show this to you real close because aborio rice has a lot of starch on it, which is what makes it get that creaminess to it that you, you're used to in risotto. So we're putting in a cup of rice, and then what I do with my tub. And this rice, and I know it looks fancy, but you can buy it in any store. Um, I actually buy it in Walmart most of the time. And then we're gonna put in three cups of chicken broth. I like to use the low sodium, but that's a personal preference. So three cups of chicken broth in. Got to have liquid in your pressure cooker because what did I say? You got to boil the liquid to make the steam and then when the steam can't get out, that's how you get pressure. Okay, so if there is no liquid in your pressure cooker, you will not have pressure and it will not work. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this into the pressure cooker, which is over there. Um, I guess I got to take this off of here because it's not going to not do its thing. Put it in the pressure cooker. Plug the pressure cooker in the wall, which I didn't do. Oh, and I gotta put this gasket in. This gasket is the most important part of your pressure cooker. It will not operate without it because it will let the steam out and then you won't get pressure because the steam has gotta be locked in there in order for you to have pressure. Sorry, this is hard to do with one hand. I'm gonna put this down for just one second. I couldn't do it with one hand, okay. All right, so put make sure it's in there thoroughly. I always run my fingers around it and make sure it's pressed in thoroughly. What I do with mine is I pull it out and I wash it. I, I run it through the dishwasher. And then I put it in the freezer so it shrinks back up to its normal size. All right, so we're gonna go to the white rice function and the new multi-cooker has the white rice function also. White rice, four minutes, gonna hit start. And I'm just gonna have to wait for 10 minutes for the pressure indicator, which is right here to pop up and then it'll cook and that's it. Then when it's done, I'm actually going to add some, I'm gonna add spinach cause that's what I have today, but usually this is broccoli. So I'm gonna add spinach and some cheddar cheese and a little bit of cream cheese. And I'm gonna get this beautiful um, risotto. So and you can get this recipe on my website. So thanks so much for joining me. Have a great evening.